I want to run a clip of uh, King Abdullah of Jordan uh, before the United Nations and then ask you some questions uh, about him. He gets a little uh, angry and a little emotional in here, and I'd like you uh, to give us your best understanding of a cut number five. Those who continue to propagate the idea of Jordan as an alternative homeland. So let me be very, very clear. That will never happen. We will never accept the forced displacement of Palestinians, which is a war crime. For years, the Arab world has extended a hand to Israel through the Arab Peace Initiative, offering full recognition and normalization in exchange for peace. But consecutive Israeli governments, emboldened by years of impunity, have rejected peace and chosen confrontation instead. Well, then, by years of immunity, how do you read what he said? He's scared to death. Um, you know, he he is a uh, a Hashemite. The Hashemites were given Iraq and Jordan. Um, I'm sure at one point in time, the uh, Hashemite king of Iraq thought that this will never change. I will always be the king in perpetuity. But the people of Iraq overthrew him, killed him, his family, dragged their bodies through the street. That's the fate of king, uh, the, king the king of Jordan today. He's a Hashemite. He's not a Jordanian. He's a Hashemite. And the, the, the people of Jordan recognize this. They know this. He has betrayed the Palestinian people, betrayed the Palestinian people. Um, and he's talking tough on that stage because he has the posture because he knows what's brewing right now in the streets. And that's him being killed and dragged through the streets, his family being terminated, the Hashemite lineage coming to an end. That's the future of this pathetic King of Jordan because he stands for nothing. This is a man who talks as if he's an Arab who supports the Arab cause, who supports the Palestinian people. You know, Black September, remember what Black September is. 1970, Jordanian army going into the Palestinian camps and slaughtering the Palestinian Liberation Organization, driving them into Lebanon where they stayed uh, for years as refugees. He is not a friend of the Palestinian people. He is an enemy of the Palestinian people. And there are many Palestinians. The Palestinians comprise a significant proportion, maybe a majority of the Jordanian population. And at some point in time, they will rise up and he will either run away or 